Hello and welcome to the unboxing of Wimble 3, the smartphone stabilizer by Feiyu Tech. Uh, this smartphone stabilizer or a gimbal should compete with such as DJI Ohm 5 or Zhiyun Smooth 5 gimbals. Uh, but let's go first through some of the features. It comes with built-in 198mm extension rod. The angle of extension rod is adjustable, which functions with more buttons, easy to fold and fold and compatible with magnetic fill light. Magnetic fill light is an option that you can buy separately and then use it on this gimbal. But let's see what's in the box. Okay, so first we get this booklet and here you will have all the basic instructions how to use the features, how to extend the rod, where to get the apps from and so on. Get this card with uh, some useful options, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, just scan the barcode, it will take you there in Chinese as well. Okay, a nice move by Feiyu Tech, the foam is cut here so we can see the logo. Okay, so first thing, we have this mini tripod and it has one mounting point here and you can use it even with other devices as well. Let's see how this works. Okay, nice, good weight. We get a pouch for carrying your gimbal around. USB to USB-C cable for charging. And the gimbal. So I will first mount the tripod. Okay, so this is how we mount the mini tripod. That's it. To open it up like this. To unfold it very easy, just push up. Here we go. To close it, follow the signs here for lock or unlock. This is the movement of the gimbal, which is allowed or not allowed. Push it down, follow the guide here, and that's it. So that's very simple. For mounting your phone, the important thing is to look at the Feiyutech badge, and this is where your phone buttons should be. Power on button, volume up, volume down, should be on this side. You also need to try and position it in the middle without a smartphone cover and then the, the rest will be done automatically by the gimbal. If you do some footage and it starts vibrating or shaking, it means that you didn't position your smartphone good enough, you need to do it again. The gimbal supports phones up to 250 grams of weight without the phone cover. Though I suppose some of the phones can be used with a phone cover as well. Let's go through the ports and buttons. So on the very top, we have this USB-C connector and this is for this magnetic light that we attach here if you buy it as an option. And here is the port for charging. So this is where you connect your cable and charge it. Uh, this is power on, power off button. For both of the options, you need to hold it for at least three seconds. For putting gimbal to sleep, just quick press. Let's pay attention to the main buttons here. So here, here we have a joystick, which will move and tilt the phone to your desired position. This button will open up album uh, with the photos and videos that you made through the Feiyuan app. M mode is to change between pan, tilt, follow mode. And this is to record or take photos. This button here is to help you tilt and also to zoom in or shuffle the photos once in the album. Here is the selection button for the photos in the album or some other options as well. Here we have a zoom in, zoom out button, up or down. A and B is to save different positions of the axis that you made uh, with your gimbal. You record them here and then by pressing these buttons, you put the gimbal in that position or reset it. And final buttons here, so by double-clicking the bigger button here, you switch the position of your phone from the landscape to the portrait mode. 
This one is used for Flash, but can be programmed inside the app for other features as well. Three times clicking this inside the app, will switch from the world camera to the face camera. It has this option that not many devices have in its class and price range, and this is the extension rod. The extension rod looks quite tough. It looks sturdy, it looks as a good quality thing, and obviously it will not affect the stabilization once you use it to film something. I really like that they incorporated all the features for the price of around $115 from their website. There was even a discount on during Black Friday, $99 if you buy directly from Feutech's website. On Amazon, the price was a bit bigger. But anyway, all these features uh, for the same price is something that we like to see in any product. I tested it, it connects straight away through Bluetooth with my phone using the original phones app. Uh, I need to have some workaround with uh, Feutech support to get their app working on my phone. Now it works fine. What I can do is command their, the Feutech support as they really try hard once you start the process with any kind of problems that you have starting contact with them. Okay, so as you can see, the product looks like a high level product. The price is good, it's standard, it's affordable. Okay, and a couple of words about the hardware itself. So tripod is quite good. It has those rubber feet here, so it doesn't slip. Uh, it's very stable as these legs are long. You can use it as an extension rod as well. It has a pattern, so it's non-slip. Uh, the materials used here are quite good. We can see on the handle, again, non-slip material, very handy. Once you have it in your hand, easy to press all the buttons, easy to use it, and that's important. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Like and subscribe, and see you next time.